Hey guys, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, what I do to put my puzzles together. I'm going to do a, a thousand piece one here. This is by Mega Puzzlers, or I'm sorry, Mega Puzzles. And it's their Vibrant series, and it's pretty cool. The uh, name of it, you see the Approaching Winter Mardis Valley. And uh, these are really good, high quality puzzles. Pieces are thick, they fit together really well. Uh, there are no cranked up ones or ones shaped like a U where they were uh, pushed out of the die stamp or whatever they use. And uh, yeah, pardon me, I got a little sore throat here. But uh, yeah, it's a good puzzle. It was only about $6.50 at a uh, box store. And I'm going to open up the seal. Pardon the table here, it's just an old piece of drywall I do my puzzles on. And uh, I may open up the box and come back. Can't do it with one hand. Okay, open up the box, and first thing you see here is this card Mega Puzzlers. And on the back, we are the Mega Puzzlers, your puzzle building champions or companions. I'm sorry, we are the Mega Puzzlers. Hard to read through the screen. Um, like us on Facebook to get to know us better. We'll share coupons, contest information, and more to make a puzzling experience the best it can be. After all, it's more fun to puzzle with a friend. And it's got a uh, web uh, Facebook website here, facebook.com backslash mega puzzlers. Mega puzzles, sorry. And it comes in a uh, sealed bag. So you don't lose any pieces out here. I gotta open this up and then I am going to show you how I go through my sort. Okay, I've got the uh, boxes laid out here that I'm going to sort my pieces in. The uh, one box will be for anything that looks like this yellow straw. And then another box will be for anything with this uh, looks like red twig dogwood or something. And then another box will be the sky and this uh, green mountain behind it. And then the fourth box will be for the stream. And then my corner pieces will... Uh, be put directly on the table over here because I always do the frame first and then I can already tell you after I do the frame I'm going to assemble the edge what I do is I look for edges of things so I will assemble an edge where this ice meets this dark water those pieces will pop out really easy um, see if I can find one here Look, there's a piece right there no contrast that is where that water meets that ice and I will separate all those and uh, put those together and then uh, you can do the border of the sky that'll be easy to find and then I kind of go from there then I'll take and I'll start looking at the, the box of the red twigs and finding edges putting those edges together then you fill in the middle and a lot of puzzles the pieces have uh, a certain way that they lay kind of which well this isn't a very good example these pieces here are pretty uniform but uh okay here we go that leg on the bottom right is wider at the bottom than the one on the left and from doing these puzzles before that always goes like that it won't go it shouldn't go like that the biggest part of the leg the big the widest leg will always go on the bottom right different puzzles are different a lot of them have different kind of pieces and some of them will be really easy you know you have a tall one real skinny then you have little square ones tall skinny ones go up and down the square ones go this way and then they alternate um, so anyway I'm gonna get to sorting this it usually takes me about a half hour 45 minutes or so because uh, I do this and I kind of watch TV and check my computer and everything while I'm doing it. So anyway, I'll be back after it's sorted. Okay, guys. i got them all sorted out. I've got all the uh, yellow grass in this one. All the red grass stuff in there. I've got all the water and ice in here. And I've got all the sky in that box. And I've already assembled my border. The frame of it. Um, and it does look a little different than the front of the box. The water actually goes all the way across. So about half of the puzzle probably, or a third of it, is, is actually water. 
I think I have as many pieces of that as I do the yellow grass. But my drywall is facing the wrong way here. Uh, it is a vertically uh, oriented puzzle there, so I'm going to have to uh, move everything around, flip my board around here, so I got it going the other way. It, these are uh, sisters, I call them. They're pieces of the puzzle that are still put, put together when you take it out of the box originally. And uh, what do y'all do on them? Uh, do you take them apart and throw them back in the box and mix them around? Or do you cheat a little bit and pull them out like this? What I do, if there's just a few of them, I pull them on out. Uh, there's a couple more in the boxes here, but they'll probably get broken apart as I jiggle through them. But, yeah, uh, I'll leave a couple of them just because it's, it kind of gives me a frame of reference sometimes of how the pieces go together, how the shapes are put together. And, uh, you know, it may save a minute, two minutes in the end of the puzzle. It ain't no big deal. So, anyway, I'm wanting to, uh, yeah, these are the four basic groups here. Now, within this, you know, I'll have ice pieces and real dark un unfrozen water pieces. And then I'll have all the pieces that have both of them where they connect. And so what I'll do first is find the connecting pieces. I find the pieces that go here and the pieces that come across the grass and the pieces where the grass meets the ice and the ice meets the water. So I'll do that and get that there. It'll look pretty cool going up through there. Get that done first. And then I, once I make a little progress, I'll be back. Okay, as you just saw in the picture there, I uh, took out all the pieces with the edges and uh, got them all sorted through there and everything and I started putting them together and starting to come together. Uh, some of them pieces aren't exactly where they go, but pretty close. And uh, I'll just keep working at it and come back when I get all these in place. Okay, guys. Uh, it's the next morning. We just went out and went shopping. We're going to have an ice storm, so I'm glad I got this puzzle to work on in case we're stuck here for a day or two. Uh, I got my outline of the creek. Kind of done. I got to dig through as I get to the yellow pieces. We'll find some more of these and uh, get them connected. But next, I think I'm going to do the, uh, the pink sky. It has some edging on it, and I will... Uh, get that done next and see how that goes then we'll start filling all this stuff in and uh, yep I'll show you more when I'm done I've got all the pieces I could find out of the pink sky that have a distinct border or a line between where the red twig, do red twig dogwoods meet the uh, sky and where the the green mountain and grass meet the sky. Just a piece there. So I'll get these together. And there we go. We've got the outline of the sky. Now I'm not sure what I'll do next. Uh, I think I'll get some lunch. Well, I got all the sky in the red twig dogwood done and a little bit more around the edge of the uh, water there. Now I think I'm going to work on the yellow ones. I got a box full here. I'm going to get them all lined up here and uh, start working on that, get my yellow done. Then all that will be left is the blue. Okay, I got the yellow grass done. <clears throat> And pretty much everything is all in place except for the blue water. And I got some pieces lined up here. And uh, still have a few left in the box, but it's ridiculous. I can't reach up that far, so I ain't going to do it. So anyway, I'll be back when I probably finish the puzzle. Okay, I got the dark part of the water done there. So everything is done and completed except for the frozen right side edge. Be back soon. And there's the finished product all put together. 
I will get it all glued up here shortly. Um, it's a pretty day outside. I'm going to go out. It's my Sunday. And it's, uh, it's really nice out. So Can't be doing puzzles inside while it's nice outside. See y'all.